activity from towards the outside of the line. They balance now and they're off and racing and a whole lot of shaken who they've had something on at very long odds. The first to jump away from upwards others and Western Magic was away quickly. Moshard going forward soon after the start, pushing up as well over on the inside is like him a bit. Followed then by Flirt with Hell. Next over on the inside, anybody seen Nina Bardsey the centre. A length and a half to She's All Steel. Lightning fashion settling down on the rails. The last trio was San Crispino, Vice Master getting back there and also Percy Kiwa. Less than 1,000 to go and upwards. Others slipped a bit of rain and worked his way to the top. Taken on though by Flirt with Hell who's now surging forward and goes to the lead. Flirt with Hell three quarters upwards. Others hasn't quite allowed him to cross just yet. Moshard third then two lengths like him a bit on the inside. Western Magic's getting a great run. A length and a half away then to anybody see Nina. Whole lot of shaken who was the first out now back running about seventh. The field strings right out 500 from home under pressure, Bargy, a long way back behind those then, she's all steel. Followed then by San Crispino, lightning fashion, losing ground before the home bend, Vice Master back there and likewise Percy Kiwa sweeping around the home corner at the 300 upwards, others tackled by Moshard very quickly and Western Magic flirt with Hell down on the inside she's all steel trying to thread its way through, angling back towards the rail as Western Magic reaches the lead at the 150 from upwards, others and she's all steel, continues to get home well on the inside but Western Magic pulls clear does too well for them late in the race and draws away Western Magic from either she's all steel or upwards others like him a bit was fourth home whole lot of shake and a nice run San Crispino likewise Percy Kiwa and then came Bardsey Moshard vice master lightning fashion flirt with hell and anybody see Nina well if you did she's back there last number 15 Western Magic 271.40 Chris Parnham aboard continues his fine form in the saddle. The Black Friars filly had that glorious run all the way and she put them away pretty effectively there. Western Magic, the three-year-old filly in a resounding maiden class win. 132-15 here. She won by a margin over either she's all steel I fancy will just get second to nose in front of upwards others and like him a bit fourth home the late scratching of lucky king there moments before they did jump so Western Magic lightly raced her fifth career run she's a black fryer Z magic filly the dam of course also prepared by the Parnham stable Neville races this filly with Carolyn Parnham Nick Patriarca Louis D'Alessio and uh, Lou Costa and uh, a good result here for the connections. They've been uh, real stalwarts of the stable. She's all steel. Uh, came from well back, threaded its way through towards the inside. A good ride there by Johnston Porter to get the roughy into second placing by Spielmeister from Dark Sleep, trained by Chris Willis, paying 11.90 for the ticky. And eight upwards others. He's a decoy. Del Zero gelding for Heck McLaren, Alan Kennedy, the rider, $1.80. Two lengths, a short half head with the margins. And 35-1 is the sectional split. Now, the Crown Towers handicap race for this afternoon at five after three. Number two, he's done a runner, is the scratching there out of the next of the day. Really attacked the line hard. She's run through it very strongly, this filly. She was only second up today in from a little break. First up run at Bunbury down there south in the southwest was an encouraging one and goes right on with it this afternoon with a comfortable victory in taking out race number three. Let's uh, take you back now. We'll catch up with Gareth uh, about to join us here and also in a couple of moments, uh, Neville Parnham. Thank you very much for that, Macca. Yeah, we'll catch up with Neville Parnham. Western Magic, that was a good performance. That Philly put the writing on the wall really last start at Bunbury and... Chrissy Parnham gave it a gem of a ride, just stalked the speed and produced this filly at the right time, and away she went for a pretty easy victory, Neville. Yeah, yes, it was. Um, it made it look easy in the in the end, and there wasn't any pace early, but um, yeah, mid race it sort of it got a little bit ramped up, and um, yeah, it gave her a good flow into the race and allowed her to sort of uh, build momentum. Uh, she's um, she's certainly looking like a horse that's going to get over a bit more ground, so. We'll just might test her a little bit, um, a little more, bit more ground, and see where she get finishes up. But uh, at the moment, she's um, yeah, she's a progressive type of filly, and the pedigree, obviously Blackfriars, we would think that it could get ground. But um, the uh, mother side is a, a Zed Rich mare, and um, that I used to race, and she was a real sprinting type. So uh, yeah, but she's certainly not racing like that. Gee, she's come back well. This preparation has she surprised you, or is this what you expected from her? 
no, not at all. She was uh, put in some good runs uh, over the winter. She didn't have many, two or three, and uh, she put in some good runs then. So always showed a bit of promise, and um, yeah, hopefully she can fulfil that in the future. When you go to the sales, do you like to buy horses speed on speed or stay on stay? What's your usually formula there? Well, it depends on what um, they client I'm buying for, but uh, my general purpose is looking for horses that will probably run a mile. Um, you know, I think the Guineas is our best race, and I've won it three times. So that's the kind of horse I like to, I like to buy. Um, uh, yeah, but some some owners look for horses that uh, two-year-olds and three-year-olds, uh, early three-year-olds and sprinting types. But in general, that's what I like to buy. Is the boy's riding in good form? He's riding very well. Yeah, he's um, he rode very well on Saturday, and he's uh, continuing on today. Well done. Cheers, Chrissy Part. I'm riding a winner for his old man Neville. I don't know if he owed him one there, Brittany. Maybe ask him to Chris now. Chris, last start over 1,200. She hit the line well. You must have been confident going into today. Uh, yeah, I was actually. Uh, didn't really look to be much speed on paper, so I, th I thought I'd be in the first few, and uh, that's how it panned out. Even though sort of mid-race, the, the speed went into the race, and uh, yeah, I got a nice card into it, and she won like a good horse. In going forward, do you think it's a horse that will get over more ground? Yeah, she seemed to run through the line pretty, pretty strongly, so... Uh, yeah, she's got the temperament to get a bit of ground as well, and and judging of what the sort of field she gave me today, uh, a bit further won't be an issue. Speaking of that temperament, I watched her go out onto the track, and she just looked like she'd fall asleep for you. Looks like it'd be very handy uh, to have for a horse that can get over a bit more ground. Yeah, definitely. Uh, horses that get over ground, they need to relax. That's that's sort of the main thing, and uh, she sort of has that in her. So that's uh, that's a good thing going forward. Congratulations on the win, Chris.